In this session, we will remove material from the base feature of our part by defining an extruded cut feature. We'll start by clicking on the Extrude Tool icon. And then click on Placement in the dashboard area, followed by clicking on Define. Notice that the window that is just opened does not contain any entries. This is because we have not pre-selected entities. Since the dialog is waiting for us to select the sketching plane, we will click on the right side surface now. Next we'll click on the top flat surface of our part in order to define the reference surface. We'll now make sure that the orientation direction is defined as top and then click on the sketch button. We have now been placed in Sketcher. Now we'll click the right mouse button and then select the line command. In order to change the display mode, we'll click on the No Hidden icon shown here. And then move the cursor next to the top reference and click the left mouse button. The cursor snaps to the top surface of our part since it is defined as one of our references. We'll now move the cursor down to the end of the first line and again click the left mouse button. In order to stop the process of drawing lines, we'll now click the middle mouse button. The next entity that we need to create is an arc, so we'll click the right mouse button and select the three point tangent end option. Now we will left click on the end of the line and then drag the cursor as shown here. A small red line next to the end of the arc indicates that the arc is at the same height as the center of the arc, so we'll left click to define the end of the arc. Next we'll use the right mouse button and select the line option and define the line shown here. Now we'll click the middle mouse button twice in order to return us to select mode. We need a dimension from the middle of the arc to the right edge of our sketch, so we'll click on the dimension icon. And then left click on the vertex at the center of the arc and the reference line. Followed by clicking the middle mouse button where we want the dimension to appear. We'll now click the middle mouse button again to return to select mode and then double click on each of the dimensions and change their values and locations as shown here. Our sketch is now complete so we'll click on the check mark icon. Since we want the cut to be extruded through the entire part, we'll change the depth option as shown here. We'll now use the middle mouse button to rotate the display of the part. As we can now see, the extrusion direction is not into the part as it should be, so we'll click on the flip icon in order to change the direction of the extrusion. Next, we'll make sure that the Remove Material icon on the dashboard is depressed. Since the direction of material removal is correct, we'll now click on the Verify button in order to preview the geometry. Since our part appears as desired, we'll now click on the Accept icon, and then return the display to a shaded image, followed by saving the part. 